The case of Etienne Cabango proves the value of security cameras on school buses, according to Montgomery County Prosecutor John McCarthy. But thank God we have cameras on buses. Cabango had been driving a Montgomery County school bus for 16 years. But by 2018, new camera systems were being installed. And when a mother raised questions about her daughter's encounter with Cabongo, McCarthy said authorities had video they could review. These are children, they are uh, profoundly handicapped kids, most nonverbal, could not articulate even what happened to them. But the camera told us the story we needed to have. Ultimately, McCarthy said investigators documented four sexual assaults. Cabongo was sentenced to 40 years in prison this week. School bus cameras also documented an attempted kidnapping of a middle school boy last week in Gaithersburg. According to Steve Rondazzo, an executive with Bus Patrol, the company that puts cameras on buses. In the state of Maryland, we're on 4,751 school buses. So this is a really proud day for our company because of how passionately we believe uh, school bus safety is. Much of the attention on school bus cameras is on the automated systems that catch motorists blowing past buses with stoplights flashing. In Maryland, the fines are steep, $250 per ticket, with more than 36,000 tickets issued in Montgomery County last year. The contractor, Bus Patrol, says school districts can opt to use some of that money to install security cameras inside buses too. The company believes in making the road safer, but it, it also believes in making the, the ride to and from school safer. That's the option Montgomery County chose. Prosecutors say that decision is now paying dividends, and they report schools are now routinely saving and reviewing video rather than waiting for complaints to happen. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Hey, this is George, man, and this one, I'm gonna be talking about a school bus driver caught sexually assaulting four special need students in Maryland. Now, let's just put it out there. That is nasty as fuck. And you was a nasty fuck, you fucking disgusting bus driver, for real. And they really, they really, you know, I don't even think 40 years is enough to give this man. Like that man really need like, the ultimate punishment like just give them straight death penalty give them you feel me like the special needs kids and yes forget that part just kids like bro you driving a school bus to mess with little kids i, I don't understand what what be happening like with people's like mental but like i don't know what like like i don't know if like they got dropped as a kid too many times i don't know if they got you know beat up too many times i don't know if they got too many ass whoopings too many times like i really i really don't understand like what goes through your mind to not mess with someone that's at your age level i really don't understand that i really will not ever understand that and don't want to ever really understand it but it's just so sad that we always have crazy people that think they can get away with nasty things and all this weird, you know, fantasies and fetish that they have. Like, that shit is really disgusting. Like, really disgusting for real. Like, on some real shit. Like, that shit just like, huh. Shit is just, shit is just fucked. But, um, you know, definitely hope those kids definitely can get past this and you know because they're they're traumatized for life he may have 40 years but i know for sure he ain't making it 40 he ain't making it for 40 years once his his you know his his bump but his his bump buddy and and fucking um and fucking jails ask him what you here for yeah once they ask him that and he tells the truth or they find out the truth yeah that boy is clipped you feel me he gonna get everything that he deserves because exactly how he thought he was gonna get away with touching little kids they gonna they gonna get away in prison what they gonna do for him you feel me but um yes man just really hope these kids you know definitely get all the support they need during this you know definitely traumatizing traumatizing you know time that they just had to go through and deal with and yeah it's just it's just fucking crazy and just really insane like how insane 
that you gotta be in your head like i don't i don't know like you know it's like it's like kind of like my brain my brain just can't can't function like with all the all the crazy shit that happens in the world and all the you know all the strange things that happen or like the things that people think are okay but aren't okay at all like i don't know man this, this is just just one of those situations that you know it, it, it was really you know lucky enough that the school bus drivers do have cameras on board um because he easily could have definitely you know slipped through the loops got got away with got away with this if there was no cameras on school buses i didn't even know they had cameras on school buses because i ain't gonna lie like going to like you know middle school high school like in new york like i ain't even you know i ain't even really take no school buses ever to school like you know took maybe like public transportation bus but you know that's about it it's not the same as like a school bus like actually having someone like pull up to the neighborhood and scoop you up but i don't know man that's just this is real sad man i just really hope this world really like ends up getting more love like that we just share with others you know because i don't know just too much pain too much violence in this world is just too much you know people are like now i guess i guess whatever these fantasies they had maybe a while back it seems like it's elevating more with maybe the shit they watching the, you know i don't i don't know man i I think people like this just gotta be, I don't know. They they just need a death penalty, man. Fuck them 40 years. That boy need need to get clipped. He touched little kids. Touched little kids. Just, you know, just put that needle in him. You feel me? Send send him, send him where he need to go. You feel me? But, um, yeah, this, this is just a sad situation. Definitely a weird-ass school bus driver, you know, to even to even have the thought of doing that while you driving kids every day like that's fucking fucking nasty man but um yeah that's my input on this situation y'all let me know how y'all feel about this because definitely it's, it's just it's just man people gotta really like people just really gotta think before they do or even if they like even if they are thinking like they gotta think like what the fuck am i doing before they actually do it because what the fuck like I, I don't know <laughs> i really you just can't make this shit up like this world is just full of a lot of <sighs> mysterious things you could definitely say that but yeah before i get off this though don't forget like comment share subscribe all that good stuff also turn on the post notifications for me and i appreciate y'all you know for definitely subscribing tuning in and yeah give me give me feedback you know let me know how how y'all liking these uh these new videos of me talking about different topics and what y'all would like me to talk more about and yeah i'm out of here